got up a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be able to. I thought this barge would not be a speedboat. That is awesome. Not bad for almost 5,000 pounds. Pretty good. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Chrysler Nationals. And I met Greg Cole. Greg has a great, fantastic car. Greg, what year make and model is this one? It's a 1957 Dodge Coronet convertible. You're going to love the fins on this one. So, Greg, step right alongside me. How long have you had this one? I uh, bought this car in 19, or 2004 from Sacramento, California, from the original one. Wow. So you are the second owner of this car. Yes, sir. And that is some spectacular hood ornament details. And we'll show that in the ride as well. But it really has quite the presence to this car. How many of these, other than yours, do you see on the road? Uh, very, very, very few. Um, what research I've done, there's like 31 still registered on the road. And that's in the world. Wow. And do you take yours on the road? Yes. We've, the wife and I have put like 30,000 miles on it since we've owned it. How long did the restoration take for this car? It took me eight years to restore it. Working by myself. Wow. Other people, but other painter, I had a person paint it, but did a lot of mechanical stuff myself. What a labor of love. We've got the coronet badging there. Are those easy to reach? You're a pretty tall guy. Can you actually reach that one? Yes. You, you can? Okay. Great wraparound window, wonderful door jewelry, and this great tail as I'll step back and show you that. Now, there's an interesting story to your car. Why do you have one of these? Well, my father joined the Navy in 1942 and served through 1945, then re-enlisted in the reserves in 1946. He was called up during the Korea conflict. When he got home after the conflict, the first thing he did, he said, I want to build a home for my family. He did that, and then he said, okay, my next thing I'm going to do is buy my first new car. And this is a clone of his first new car that he bought in 1957. So it's really a tribute to your father. Yes. That is awesome. So this is factory revert? Oh, this is for the uh, uh, for the license plate. At first I thought it was actually facing this way. Mm. And some of the badging here with the detail, and you see the little Dodge. Can we open the trunk? Is that, because I know it's not super easy. It's pretty tight in there. Yeah. There's a handle there. You push that button. I just wanted to show people the size of that. And Greg, what are you about? Six one? Stand right. Six foot. I mean, you could fit a couple of you in there. Holy cow! This is, you know, your dad might have saved some money. He could have made this the house and the the car all in one <laughs> shot. I mean, holy cow! There's a ton of room in here. All right, we can close that while you're doing that. I'm going to feature these wonderful tail lenses and the great. Exhaust. This has got some obvious length. I'm going to go to the interior. May I? Sure. All right. One of the things right off the bat, you can see there's the ashtray centrally located for everybody there. And we're not getting as much sun as I would like, but if the sun does grace us again, you'll see the material in these seats. Actually, and I'm going to try to get close to it, it has like this silver sparkle in it. And when the sun's hitting it, it's just outstanding. You've got your light back there for illumination. And let me just let you gaze on that. That's some design. And even the floor mats as well. Okay. And your push button transmission. I'm assuming this red light comes on when the parking brakes on? Yes, sir. That 
Clackert sits Dodge in the middle of the dash. It's actually an ashtray. It swivels. If you push on one side of it, it'll swivel out to the ashtray. Like so. I didn't see that coming. That was great. That was great. And correct me if I'm wrong, but this swirls over. Yeah, it's called like a barrel roll. Barrel speed roll. Up. It just it rolls up as you speed up. 114,000 miles or 14th since the uh, restoration? Since, since the restoration. That's great. Let me show this door panel too because it's just so well done. It's really a fun car. Pretty elaborate mechanism there. Let's uh, open under the hood, shall we? Now, were there different engine options in that time frame? Yes. And this is the highest engine option I'm seeing with dual carbs, I'm guessing? There's one higher, the, the Hemi. Okay. This is the Poly. Both the Hemi and the Poly were both 325 cubic inch. Does the horn work when we start it? Uh, no, Sometimes? I, I had a short in it. Okay, got and it. I haven't, that would, happened like a week ago and I haven't time to fix it for No it problem. And the RJ on that back plate there? Yeah. <clears throat> when the original owner bought this car, he flew from Sacramento to Grand Rapids, Michigan to pick it up. And the car was never detailed at the dealer. Yeah. And uh, when I bought it, the RJ was still there and the 44 on the firewall was still there. So I replicated it. I majored it and replicated it the same as it was when the car was, came off assembly. I love your attention to detail. It's just tremendous. I replicated them. Now you could spend a whole nice couple hours just under this hood. It's really amazing. Well, let's, uh, uh, and what does it say there? Super, super red rain. Super red rain. Super red. that maybe on this side a little bit. You see the super. Got it. Let's uh, fire it up, shall we? We'll let it idle. We'll give it a good rev. Greg and I decided to just take a little cruise in the neighborhood and I uh, couldn't help myself. What a great car. I shared with you this car has a, uh, it's like a parade on wheels all by itself. What's the reaction when you're driving? A lot of people just look at the point and, you know, <laughs> Stop. love it. Stopping you? Yep. Do you like that attention? Uh, yes and no. I mean, sometimes <laughs> I've had guys drive beside me and they like pushing me off the road looking at it. You know. But it's, it's nice to be recognized for the work and the time that you put into it. Yeah, you've done an amazing job with this car. I mean, uh, obviously a, a labor of love, uh, a real dedication to, to your fondness of your father. I mean, uh, and I th thanks to your father for bringing up such a great Mopar guy. Yeah, yeah I've been Mopar ever since. Yeah. 
And this is just such a great show. I'll just show people. We'll just show them that hood ornament that I shared. You can see how pronounced that is. Peace on earth. Right on this. <laughs> Peace on earth on this car. Just wonderful. Well, so enjoyable as we cruise through the neighborhood of historic Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Greg, what a treat. Thanks so much for taking me in your car. Thanks so much for sharing it. Thanks for being on my car store. Well, I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you.